What's up everyone? Water Pistol Productions here. Did you ever go on a first date and wonder, did he like me? Did I say anything dumb? Am I gonna get a call? Well, wonder no more. With the help of this video from Water Pistol Productions, how to be a perfect date, you'll not only be getting a call, you'll be a date he'll never forget. You're welcome and enjoy. First and foremost, be on time for your date. Every guy loves a girl who's punctual. Hey, babe. I know I'm late, but court took longer than I thought it would, and I had to wait for my parole officer to give me a ride. But all is well, because I'm here now. Boo! It's all good, bae. Well, this is a fine how do you do. Your directions sucked. I got lost three times following the directions you gave me. Probably couldn't find your way out of a paper bag. I am sorry I'm so late. I had me them nachos for lunch, and they had those jalapenos in there and I'll tell you what that gave me the worst diary I had in my whole life toilet looked like I poured about a gallon of chocolate pudding in there Ugh, I feel much better now oh excuse me still coming out hmm <laughs> oh that was warm oh good lord have flirty small talk. Keep it light and simple. After all, you're on a date and it's supposed to be fun. War is a terrible thing. Limbs being blown off, eyeballs popping out, people dying, and the ones that do live have the worst health care in the country. You ever been to a VA? All this terrorist crap freaks me out. That's why I always have at least three weapons on me at all times. Thank you. It's a shame the way the priests touch the little kids the way that they do. What's the world coming to? You ain't catching me alone with one of those sickos in a confession room, I'll tell you that much. Mm -mm, no siree, Bob. When ordering your food, never go for the most expensive thing on the menu. It makes you look like a gold digger or high maintenance, and that's not a good thing. For my appetizer, I'll have the caviar. Um, for my dinner, I have the twin lobster tails and add on a filet mignon, please. Medium well, thank you. Yes, I'll take the lobster tail and a bottle of that wine you suggested? We'll take a bottle of that too. Yeah, I'll take the filet mignon medium well with the sauteed mushrooms and I'll also take the twin lobster tails, but I'll take that to go. I'll just eat that tomorrow for lunch. Treat your server with respect. Excuse me, last time I was here, my order was a hot mess, the service was terrible, and the manager was a moron. Now we're gonna start your tip off at a whopping 10%. That's right, we're not cheap here, okay? But every time you screw up, your tip is gonna go down. So if you wanna make some money tonight, I suggest you get it right. You're dismissed. Ooh, well aren't you a nice little side dish of something I'd like to sop up with a piece of cornbread? Mmm, take my order, baby, take my order. Mmm, you look better than anything that's on the menu. Can I just have you to go? Huh? <laughs> Excuse her? What was she just staring at? She better put her eyes back in her head before I put them back in there for her. That's right, honey, what's the matter? Can't get your own man, so you gotta try to get mine? I don't think so. Keep to stepping, honey. That's right, keep to stepping. Be a polite listener. Act like you're interested in what he's got to say. I got to say, you are the most boring person I ever met in my life. Your stories just go on and on. You are so boring, it would take two of you to make one interesting person. That's how boring you are. Do you ever shut the hell up? I'd rather watch paint dry than to listen to another one of your stories. Huh? You say something, babe? Listening to you talk is giving me a headache. Could you just shut the hell up for like five minutes? Your voice is like nails on a chalkboard. Give me a break. Enjoy a social drink during your dinner, but be careful not to have too many. You're on a date, not at a nightclub. I can handle my liquor. AA don't know what they're talking about. Hey, heifer, heifer, yeah you. You gonna get us more liquor at this table or are you too busy staring at my man wishing he was yours all day long? Get on over here and bring some liquor. That's how you get good service. I'm into exercise. I do those uh, kegels. You know what them are? It's a workout for the vagina. Shoot. 
I could pick up a 12 pack of beer with my ladyhood and fling it clear across this room. I could open those beers too. Yes, I could just squat down, cling on tight, and give a hearty twist. Pop goes a weasel. It's a great party trick. Kids love it. You want to see? The more I drink, the better you will look. Hey, honey, keep them coming. Keep them coming until I either pass out my food or disappear under the table. This could get interesting. Talk about him. This is your chance to find out who he is. My ex was a total loser. The only reason why I put up with him for so long is because he was hung like a horse. I mean, straight up, nay! Like that. Now, are you circumcised? Because I don't play those flap goes the weasel and hide the turtle games. I don't play those games. I notice you pick at your crotch a whole lot. You digging for gold or you need to excuse yourself and go to the men's room and reapply some kind of ointment down there. Watch Joe there, by all means, give your hands a good scrubbing because they must smell like dirty jockstrap by now. Most importantly, carry yourself like a lady. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, oh, whoo, excuse me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you follow these simple tips, you'll always be the most unforgettable date any man could ever experience. Just remember, be yourself, have fun, be safe, and happy dating. As always, thank you for watching and have an awesome day.